decided to put together a short revision DVD to help us with the areas that um, we're particularly struggling with. Simplifying expressions. When you've got something like this, which is particularly a grade D question, 4A plus 2B plus 6A minus B, there's not a great deal of messing about or any, any, any sort of spectacular strategy we need for something like that. Just basically, look at the 4A, any more A's, 6A. So immediately, I can start collecting together my like terms. 4A plus 6A. I've got 2B minus B. So plus 2B, take away B, and I'm left with just B, but it's a positive B. And don't write just 1B, I just leave it as B. Not, as a lot of you will write, is 1B. Don't write that. You'll still get a mark, but it's tidy and it's mathematically nice. When it gets to something a little more complicated, let's just get rid of that for a minute, a little more complicated, when you need an actual strategy, something like this. And you might immediately try and start saying, well, I've got 6x minus 2y plus 3x minus 4y. You might decide immediately to do it and you need to scare a little mind. And you don't want to do that. What you need to do is have a little strategy in mind. And if you've got colours or shapes, let's start collecting colours or collecting shapes together. I'm going to do shapes because you'd probably not have cranes and colours in front of you. Identify your like terms, your x's and your y's. Making sure that you take the sign as well. Choose a different shape. Minus 2y and a minus 4y. Simply now, all we do is collect together our shapes. And don't be lazy, make sure you write it out in full because the examiner is going to give you marks for this next line. I've got 6x collected together with my plus 3x. Remembering that it is a positive 3x. Now, I've finished with my x's now. I could actually cross them out. I've done with them. Minus 2y. Minus 2y. And again, remembering it's a minus 4y. Now, I've not actually done a great deal of maths now. Move the board up. All I need to do now is some simple arithmetic. 6x plus 3x is going to give me 9x. Now, this is where people tend to, tend to slip up when they're actually doing it the way we did first of all at above. Got minus 2y, minus 4y. Now, when it gets to this stage, all we're physically looking at is numbers. I've got minus 2, minus 4. Now, imagine temperature. Imagine a number line, now. I've got one here. Minus 2, that's where you're starting at, minus 4. So, again, man, imagine it in context. That's temperature, minus 2, minus another 4. It's going to go down, not up. So at minus 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm going to end up at minus 6. And a lot of people would have perhaps gone the other way. So the answer is minus 6y. That's the final answer. Make sure that you're clear that it is a definite negative there. OK, so let's do one more, just make it a little bit more clearer. Again, we've got minus 4a, minus 2b, plus 3a, plus 6b. So we have two separate terms. Let's identify those terms. We're not rushing. Let's take our time. Again, identify them by a shape. Any more a's? Yeah. And make sure, again, we're taking the sign. It's a minus 4a. Don't forget that. And then identify the b's. Simply now, let's collect them together. Minus 4a, plus 3a, minus 2b, plus 6b. Simple arithmetic now. I can ignore that there are a's and b's for this moment in time. I'm just thinking about the numbers now. I've got a minus 4, plus 3. Looking at our number line, starting with minus 4. Think about it in context again, it's temperature, so at minus 4, plus 3. It's going to go towards 0. It's going to get warmer if you think of a temperature. So 4, 1, 2, 3, it's going to be minus 1. And again, remember what we did on the first one? We're not going to write minus 1a, minus a. 
There's only one A there, so we're not going to write minus one A. Okay? I'm not interested in that. Now, we've done with that. I'm not interested now. Minus 2B plus 6B. Again, using the number line. Minus 2B plus 6B. Again, thinking it in context and temperature. Add 6 on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Positive 4. Now, what we don't want is people to immediately to put a negative sign there just because there's a negative sign there. And this is where the misconception and the problems lie. It's turned out to be a positive 4. So it's a positive 4B. And that's our overall answer. Remember, just because it's a negative there, don't put a negative there automatically. It's basic arithmetic at this stage. Use your number line and draw a number line on your GCSE paper. Or ask for extra sheets of paper. Use the ruler, anything. The simple strategies and it'll help us. And that's definitely two marks. And if you're answering it fully, not rushing, you're going to get one mark at that stage.